Okay, so what do we do if we have a red eye image that cannot be corrected with a red eye tool? It's going to happen, so what do we do? Well, the next trick that we reach for is one of Photoshop's all time classic hits. It's called channel mixing. Now, it helps to understand why you have red eyes in a Photoshop RGB image. So I'll go to the channels palette and we'll have a look at the three different color channels, the red, green and blue. Now the green channel, oh look at that, has got perfectly black pupils in the eye. The blue channel also has good quality dark pupils. But the red channel, yikes, this terrible grey white film in the pupils. What this tells us is that all of our problems are caused by this light grey colour in the red channel. It gives us the red in the red eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix in some of this nice black stuff that we've got in the green and blue channel to replace this messed up stuff we've got in the red channel. Go back to RGB go back to layers and we'll go for our elliptical marquee tool and I'm just quickly going to make a selection around one of the pupils just adjust that a little bit and it doesn't have to be exact exact it just needs to be pretty close and we'll then go to the image adjustments channel mixer now we can do this non-destructively by using an adjustment layer, so we'll have a look at that in a later tutorial. So I'll bring up the channel mixer, and it shows us that the current channel is red. That's very handy. This is the channel that we need to correct. So it says that the red channel is using 100% red. Well, we'll change that by making it zero. As soon as we've made it zero, you get a green-blue effect on the pupil. Now we compensate for the loss of the red by now mixing in from the green and blue channels. 50% and 50%, giving us a total of 100. This will give you the most natural result. I've been asked a few times, is it okay to just use the green channel or to just use the blue channel? Meh, you can. Evaluate how it looks, see if it looks natural, then it should be fine. But I prefer to use a little bit of green and blue just to make it look as natural as possible but as I say whatever spins your wheels try it and see if it works and we'll say OK to this setting that we've got now and I'll just turn off my selection and that my friends is a pretty good fix using the channel mixer